For this week, you're going to create a player for all of the Swift files that you've already loaded. I initially start working on the scene in the main scene where I've set up buttons for my portfolio, slideshow, and light project. I've only done three flash files. You should do yours for the entire semester up to this point. If you don't have them, you can go back into Angel where you handed them in and you can download them again. I'm going to take a look at the code on my first page, but before I start, let me show you how I've set up my file. I have three buttons, and I found them a little hard to read, so I just put additional words next to them. Portfolio underscore BTN, Slideshow underscore BTN, and Light underscore BTN. That's actually a project from my Flash class, but it works for this sample. I have multiple scenes. Remember to create a new scene. It's Shift F2 to enter the scene area, and then you can add new scenes from there. So I've named my scenes Portfolio, Slideshow, and Light, corresponding with the buttons. I will have code in each of these scenes. Let's look at the initial code to get started. For my main scene with the buttons, you need to have a stop statement so that it doesn't immediately go on to the new scenes. Then I have an event listener for each button and on each button I use go to and play the number of the frame that they should start on which should always be frame one and then the name of the scene in quotes. I've programmed the first scene not logically the first one, but the portfolio scene. Again, I have a stop statement so that it doesn't fly right past it. Then I'm using, and these lines will come in automatically when you type the ones beneath them. I'm adding an event listener on the stage so that we, when we enter the frame, I will load my portfolio. Make sure that you save your flash file in the same folder as your Swift files before you start programming and testing. If you forget to save your flash file, you're going to get some freaky security errors. I had that problem when I was doing this. As soon as I saved it in the same folder as my Swift files, the security errors went away. So my function, load portfolio, based on my event, event, which is just the frame event, returning nothing so that it's void. I create a variable portfolio loader equals new loader. I add the child portfolio loader and I use my portfolio Swift. Now when I run this, I can get here but it doesn't work. So get this far on all of your, um, or at least on your first page, and then I'm going to show you how to let the internal action script run because right now it's not allowing, and you're seeing this no active security context, it's not allowing my buttons to work. So get the first part programmed, then we'll go on to the next step.